What is up, Taurus? This is Valkyrie Tarot coming at you for your Love and Soulmate reading for the first half of February 2020. Um, yeah, it's been an interesting year so far. <laughs> uh, so hopefully February is a lot more positive than some of the other readings were um, for you guys, Taurus. But what do you say we just get at it? Um, as usual, this is a Love and Soulmate reading. Uh, you know, if your sun sign doesn't really match up too well, check out your other readings, your other signs. Uh, you know, it's February, everybody's looking for a love reading. Let's hope that this comes out positive, because some of the other ones are coming out as uh, <laughs> interesting readings. We'll just put it that way. Alright, we got Taurus, February 2020. Nothing's jumping for you, huh? That wanted to. Got the Temperance card in reverse. Sagittarian energy, so um, you might be having to be a little bit more patient than normal. Um, or you're being impatient. Ooh, there you go, what popped? The sun in reverse. Leo energy. So, might be a little sad right now. Energy behind uh, everything. You might be going through some difficult times. All right. Here we go. First card is you, Taurus. We have the Seven of Wands. So you feel like you have the higher ground in a situation. Um, you kind of feel a little bit defensive about something that's going on. Energy for your loved one is the lovers in reverse. So Gemini, perhaps they may have broken up with you or, um, you know, you're having a little bit of an issue uh, with them right now. Perhaps they can't decide whether they want to be with you or not. Uh, next card is the energy between the two of you. It's the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Not wanting to uh, wait to see how this all goes. Almost seems like a little impatient, kind of like that uh, that Temperance card in reverse. Current challenge is trying to find balance. You got the Two of Pentacles right here. What is the blockage? We have the Nine of Wands. In reverse, so not really wanting to rev it up for final go, kind of just deciding this is it, let bygones be bygones, whatever. Past energy that's currently affecting you, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So you saw or you have had ultimate fulfillment, stability, family life, very happy, you know, very loyal. Um, you saw this in one way, shape or form. Okay, past situation for your loved one is the judgment card. Karma uh, kind of coming into play here. Rebirth type of energy, Phoenix rising, Scorpionic association here. So uh, perhaps something big has come to be for your loved one. There was an ending of a cycle. Outcome from your point of view, we have the Eight of Cups. So walking away from a situation that no longer serves you doesn't always have to be walking away from a relationship, but walking away from something that has been holding you back from moving forward spiritually. Next outcome from your loved one's point of view, we have the Two of Cups, Soulmate Energy. That's a good card. Overall outcome, Justice in reverse. All right, so it's interesting because we have Judgment over here, but we have Justice. This is Libra. Um... It means that something hasn't come to balance yet, okay? Again, we had that two of pentacles down here. And we have the world in reverse for the overall energy of the deck, which means that something is stalled. Something hasn't completely come to fruition. All right, so we have judgment in the past and ten of pentacles in the past. You were happy. So perhaps what this is is you were defending your relationship with this person. And this person may have decided to end it with you and or maybe say, now is not a good time for us. Oh, sorry, my tea kettle is kind of going and I thought someone was knocking on the door. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, let's see what the cards are saying here. Because we got soulmate card here, which is a good card at the end. It's kind of a mix. Let's see. Can I get... Uh, Verification, clarification for the Seven of Wands here. Page of Cups. So there was an offer or a message of love or an apology. Very innocent. 
we have the wheel of fortune in reverse over here for your loved one so yeah they're having a bit of bad luck right now where they feel like they aren't kind of on their path perhaps in perhaps you guys did break up and in breaking up um they're realizing they're wrong in this that you guys are meant to be together and they uh, made a boo-boo. All right, so we have the tower in reverse, scorpionic energy again, over here to clarify the seven of pentacles in reverse. So yeah, there's definitely an avoidance of something. So let me be clear, towers happen, tower moments happen. Winning the lottery, getting in a car crash, um, big things, small things, they are life-changing events though. These are things that make you look at yourself and decide, I need to be a better person or you know, be really grateful, offering gratitude into the universe. Something is being stalled here, though. Someone doesn't want to wait to see how this goes. It's almost like there was a relationship here that was good and it was blossoming and we had the Ten of Pentacles here, but something happened and the other person's like, nope, I don't even want to deal with it. I'm just going to ignore it and, and hope that it goes away. You know, what's this tower? Give me a clarification on the tower here. the star in reverse. Um, Aquarius energy. Uh, the star is kind of a lack of faith, feeling disconnected, you know, feeling despair, sadness. So just a little bit of negative emotion sitting around in here. What is this? Two of pentacles, trying to find balance. Yeah. Ace of swords. So something, a truth has had to be spoken or has been spoken, which is um, what the issue is or is waiting to be spoken, I'm guessing because the justice card, the ultimate outcome is in reverse. So there's still a, um, something might be waiting. What, what about this Ace of Swords? About the Knight of Cups. Um, Pisces energy over here, Knight of Cups. So an offer of love, wanting to, where this is a message of love or an apology, this is an actual action towards love, to move forward towards someone. So you got to find that balance to try and like fight for this relationship is what it looks like, Taurus. You're trying to fight for this. Nine of Wands, trying to uh, just give up. You're like, you're sick of fighting, but clarified by the Two of Cups. So you're sick of fighting because of what? Maybe you're not, maybe you guys haven't left each other. Maybe that's why you have the Two of Cups here because, yeah, because you want to work together here. All right. Two of Cups, Three of Pentacles. So maybe that's why, maybe that's why you're, you're fighting for this relationship is what it looks like, Taurus, because you know they're your soulmate. Ten of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. All right, so maybe in the past, you guys have had a relationship, you might've been married and something was said. Someone came in really swiftly, said something that they probably regret. looks like it was you. Yeah, heartbreak on both sides. Truth came out, something something that really impacted both of you. And you've got the death card, another Scorpionic. So Taurus, I mean, Scorpio is your match sign. It's the opposite of the wheel. Um, this might be with a Scorpio, or it could just be the Scorpionic energy. Again, you have the tower in reverse, you have the death card in reverse. Both of them are resisting change. However, your loved one has hit their judgment. They've gone through this. They're done. It's like you're resisting the change of, um, of what's had to happen. And the Six of Wands. Your loved one's not leaving. They're still in rough seas over this, but they're not, they're not moving ahead. They can't leave this behind yet. They're still hanging on. <laughs> justice in reverse is justice in reverse because there's no balance. Something is off. Something is off between the two of you. Libra and energy. There's an unfairness. There's a lack of accountability. Someone is lying to someone. About an equal give and take. This is all about balance. It's almost like, a, it's almost like an inner sign. You don't want to be in a stalemate anymore. You want to have the conversation. Libra and energy again. You are the one that needs to find the balance though, Taurus. Okay? So that's your answer right there. You're the seven of wands, right? You need to find the balance. So there is something, there is a, sorry. There is a truth that you need to speak, Taurus. You need to speak this truth. You need to get it out there um, because this person, 
thinks the relationship is over. They know, they know that you love them and they know that there is this thing here, but something might have happened. Um, perhaps someone cheated on someone. Perhaps someone lied about how they felt about the other person. You know, but there's two cards that are representing soulmate right here, okay? Ten of Pentacles is like familial happiness. The lover's card, I mean, it's all over the place. It might be small offers of affection, Taurus. You're you're an earth sign, so you don't, you're not always going to be a really emotional person. But um, perhaps that's the problem. Perhaps you haven't been vocal enough about your love for this person. And they probably got fed up and they tried to walk away from you, but they're realizing that in trying to walk away from you, it, you know, they couldn't get over you. They couldn't let go, you know. So you guys need to find a balance. There needs to be a balance. The truth has to come out, has to be spoken. Um, I mean, you guys are soulmates in the end here. Looks like you guys are staying together. You're going to work through this. Okay. We have the spirit of the lion, leader, recognition, and respect. We have the spirit of the staircase, ascension, progress, the long way home. And one more card. This is the uh, spirits of darkness and light by Mystic Moon Oracle. And the spirit of the woods, voices, goblins, and nightmares. So it's almost like you guys are trapped, like not being able to figure out what you want to do. But whoever this is resonating with, either it's Taurus or the Cross Watcher, you might feel guilty about something. You might be trying to hide something. But I think you just need to come honest with it. Come out with it. Speak your truth. And there might be some heartbreak, but they'll get over it. I mean, they're going to get over it. They have to. And it looks like the pain was in the past. It's like you're trying to let it go and move on and not give up on this relationship. But I keep comparing others to you. That's the message from your loved one right there. So they still love you. They still want you. All right, let's get three cards from the Romance Angels here just for some extra advice from the universe. Card number one, true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Well, that's kind of in the cards there too. And honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of a holiday time together. All right. So here's what the universe is saying. If you want this relationship, fight for it. Speak your truth. Get it all out there. Air it all out. Put it all on the table. Give each other the opportunity to see each other for who you really are. Drop the armor. Put it all out there, right? Yes, it's going to be anxious. Yes, it's going to be scary. But if you love this person and you want to stay with them, you have to show them who you really are, right? This is your true love. Perhaps you're separated right now because you can't figure out how to make this work. Um, if it's a twin flame type of situation, then yes, that makes sense. Uh, you know, we got two soulmate cards here, so I wouldn't be surprised. And then honeymoon. The universe is saying that once you guys get this all together, not necessarily marriage, unless you guys have already been married, but go on a trip together. Take some time where it's just the two of you, where you can reconnect and re, uh, you know, like reintroduce yourselves to each other because you might be different people now, you know? Even if you've been in a relationship for years, people change. And it's always really good to get away um, and reconnect with not only yourself, but your loved one, okay? All right, Taurus, I hope that this resonated with you guys. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe. If it didn't, totally cool. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Deuces!